I'm going to be taking you guys along with me to get some wood. Um, running a little bit lower on the scrap wood. Um, actually, I'm not really running low. I just like to go there and see what new cutoffs they have. I go to a Amish sawmill where I'm able to buy the cutoffs and then I'm able to raid their dumpster in there before they burn it. So I'm able to, you know, salvage some like walnut or cherry or uh, just depends on what they have cut that they used uh, before and I'm able to take that stuff for free. So we always go there, we always buy something. We don't ever go there and just get the free stuff. But I'm gonna take you guys with me there. I just got off shift at the fire department. I uh, got my coffee. We're gonna go home. I'm gonna make a few ashtrays today. I think I might make a cutting board. Um, the whole cutting board won't be made today. I gotta do the glue up and all that, but we'll probably do something. Um, I have no orders right now. So now's my time to either restock in some of the hot items or just go and make just for fun stuff. So right now I kind of want to make some Valentine's Day gifts. Um, so the only two things that I have to do this week are these two Valentine's Day gifts that I want to do. Uh, and then I have a birthday gift for my mother, which I'm trying to figure out what I want to make her. I know I want to make her something, but I'm not exactly sure what. I kind of have an idea, but I'm not sold on anything in particular yet. For Valentine's Day, I'm giving my wife a heart-shaped uh, catch-all tray with a nice little saying in the middle. And then I'm going to make that out of walnut. And then I'm going to seal it with some of the board butter. So that's food safe. If she wants to put like candies or something in there or um, even if she doesn't want to put anything food in there, it doesn't hurt it. So. Alrighty guys, I will take you guys along with me. We have about a 20 minute drive from the fire station to the sawmill. So I will pick back up when we get there. Alrighty guys, we just left 2172. I got 11 board feet of five quarter, oh, 11 board feet of five quarter wide red oak. This is absolutely beautiful. Perfect for like cutting boards or dishes, like catch all trays. This is absolutely beautiful. All right guys, so as you saw, we got two uh, pretty decent size four footers of the, uh, I think it's five quarter red oak. So we're gonna take those home. I definitely need to make a Valentine's Day gift. Um, I'm kind of wanting to try and make a, uh, just a cutting board out of it. Just a, I think it's just a solid piece. Uh, and see how it turns out. Um, I'm really curious to see what it'll look like. And if it turns out, I mean, we might be able to use it or sell it. So we're gonna try that. I got two of those, so I should have plenty if it actually works out. I love the color of it. It'll look great with the uh, mineral oil and beeswax on it, give it a nice little gloss to it. So can't wait to show you guys what I'm ended up doing. Alrighty guys, so the last time I used this, I ended up breaking my router. So I went out and picked up another one. Um, I actually have another one right here too, but I always have two uh, just in case something does happen like that and I need to finish a project. Luckily this was just a project I was working on for myself. So I was able to just scrap it and now I have to install this, which pretty much is I just put this and then call it and then run the wire.
shop right now. Got a little bit of stuff done. Got a lot of cleaning up done. I actually made uh, made a bunch of these CNC clamps today uh, just because I needed some. But while I was working, I kind of was cleaning up, made a little uh, bit holder. Some of the ones that I don't normally use, but I just don't want to put away. Big thing is I made my uh, mother a birthday gift um, cutting board made out of uh, red oak. So got the juice groove in it. Kind of got some videos of that. You guys will be able to see. Um, this part's almost done drying. There's a tiny bit of a crack in it. Uh, this part's actually done drying. You can't even barely tell. Uh, there was a crack in it. Fill it up with the uh, sawdust I used when I sanded this. And I used uh, these sandpaper pads from uh, Home Depot and my Milwaukee sander. I'm sorry, not Milwaukee, Makita. Makita sander. I sanded it at 60, 80, 120, 220, uh, and 400 uh, grit. And then after the 220 and the 400, oh, let me fix this camera here. After the 220 and the 400 grit, I threw some water on it and got a little bit of a grain raise so I could get the grain raised up and sand it down the rest of the way. Um, so I wrote a little happy birthday, mom. I love you. Uh, and then dated it just in uh, handwriting because I know she really likes the handwriting. And then I just used a little bit of this uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint. It's like the chip, uh, triple thick glaze. So that's on there. This is not the part that's going to really touch food. And I'm not too worried about it because what I'm putting on here now is this stuff. It's a uh, homemade board butter. This camera does not want to stay. So it's just this homemade board butter. It's pretty nice to use. Uh, I made it, it's mineral oil and beeswax. Uh, it's food safe, obviously. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna wanna get some gloves on. I'm actually gonna take this and sand this, just this back part down just a little bit. This should be done. Can't even tell there was really a crack there. Uh, the crack was actually, see, I can't even really tell. It was right there. So you can you can tell just a little bit. That wood filler, uh, homemade wood filler kind of works really good. I don't have any wood filler here, or else I would have just used that. Um, they make it for all types of wood. But what you want to do is you want to get a clean uh, rag. Just make sure this is all cleared off. And then get yourself a good amount of this board butter on here. And... Gonna rub it on. Gonna rub it on thick. Wax on, wax off. Rub it on thick. Beautiful, beautiful walnut. It's a two-tone walnut. I love this stuff. But I got this all cleaned up, moved this over, reset my vacuum up, uh, wiped everything down. I lubricated everything. Kind of uh, threw some of my little spare wood that I'm actually using right now in there. I this all looks like blood. It's not blood. It's actually used for that, but. Set some uh, more spare wood over there. I got more spare wood over there. I brought my trash can in to throw some stuff out. Uh, and I've just been working here for the last uh, two hours on just random stuff that I've been uh, putting off. So um, there's my palm. Uh, that's my uh, other router. All right, so this is done. That's good. Now, one thing I love to do with these things 
is I will run the uh, vacuum over it real quick. All right, and then I will just take a little uh, thin bristle brush and I will just clean out the lettering. I don't go too hard, but I just let the bristles get in there and then just move in all the directions. That's pretty good without chipping it. These are just Harbor Freight ones. Uh, just cheap, cheap Harbor Freight ones. I think these were like two bucks for uh, six of them. So this was our wedding date. <laughs> says, I don't love you to say I love you. I love you. Uh, I don't say I love you for you to hear it. I say it because I do. So, I'm gonna get this uh, cut out and then I'm gonna just take a light sander and just sand this and then I'm gonna seal it and then this will be hers. Alrighty guys, this is the finished product for the Valentine's Day gift for my wife. Beautiful coloring. I just lathered on a thick layer of this triple thick lace. Once that dries, I'll add another layer or two and then uh, make sure I coat the bottom really well and it'll look like glass.